together in tragedy. Today, we address the heartbreaking and deeply troubling events that have shaken the United Kingdom. On July 29th, 2024, a senseless act of violence took place in Southport, where three young girls lost their lives in a brutal stabbing during a dance event. Baby King, Elsie Dodds Halcom, and Alistair Silva were taken from us far too soon. The alleged perpetrator, Alex Mugawa Ruda Kubana, a 17 year old with a background in musical theater and diagnosed with autism, has been charged with these heinous crimes. These acts is beyond condemnation, and our hearts go out to the families of the victims. We stand united in grief and outreach over this senseless act. However, it is crucial to remember that why we mourn and seek justice, we must not let this tragedy lead us down a path of prejudice and division. In the wake of this incident, we have seen a disturbing rise in violence and hostility, particularly against the Muslim communities and immigrants. This reaction only depends the wounds and perpetuates a cycle of hate. We must be vigilant against generalizations and demonization of entire groups based on the actions of an individual. As we seek to understand and process this tragedy, let us remember that hatred and violence are not the answer. Our strength lies in our unity and our ability to support one another through times of crisis. As Prime Minister Kerr Stammer stated, thugs cannot be allowed to hijack our grief and sow hatred. End of quote. This sentiment echoes a profound truth that we must resist the temptation to allow fear and anger to trigger our actions. In closing, let us reflect on these words of Marvin Luther King Jr., who once said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Let these words guide us as we navigate through this difficult time, reminding us that true power lies in compassion, understanding, and unity. We must stick together as we go through this moment of tragedy. Wow. Mm. What I was just so I'm going to about is take it. this to our uh, advocates. Um, at the Lagos studio, and uh, probably just start with Elijah. What do you have to say with you know the ongoing um, protest happening in the UK? Okay, so what I was going to say was that uh, I was thinking about the Lokidubi song, which I like to listen to too much. Different color, one people. You should not forget that. And I said it before that the brotherhood of man transcends the sovereignty of nations, and people nationalism should be guided because I've listened to a lot of Britain. Uh, the, in the argument space, oh, that, that was an issue during this last uh, just concluded election in the United Kingdom. The issue of unguarded nationalism, migrants, let's uh, tighten our border, let's do this, let's do that. And then same with the US, migrant issue. Yeah, it's always a problem. Yeah, we need to protect our nation, guide our nation, be strengthened. But are you doing that at the expense of humanity? So what I'm going to say is that in Britain or United Kingdom, the government and the people of the United Kingdom should be very careful. Diversity is important. We have had Muslims in the, United, in, the, in the United Kingdom participate in the electoral process, right? If I'm, if I'm not wrong, yes. I think we have politicians that are from Muslims, uh, Muslims uh, in the United Kingdom. And to the best of my knowledge, um, the last time I was privileged to be in London, I saw that we have a very big mosque in London, and then we have good, peace-loving Muslims in London. Because they are, they are believers of peace. So Islam is a religion of peace. So the fact that you are different from someone should not be that you should be scared of that person. If someone commits a crime, it should be treated iso in isolation. The crime and the person should be treated in isolation. Do not make it look that every of the person of that same kind are criminals. And humanity should guide us whatever we do as a nation. It's interesting or ironic that you are using Lucky Dube to buttress your example. How did Lucky Dube die? 
<laughs> I was expecting you to come from that angle. Lucky Dube was killed because people thought he was from a different nationality. In His South people, Africa. yes. Yeah, that's what His we're saying. His people Africa killed Kobe. So that's what I'm saying. So when you are using Lucky Dube, I say, ah, Lucky Dube is a victim of. What just, what just happened? Mm -hmm. So that's why I said it's ironic that it's his name you're using for the example. Look, um, this young man, unfortunately, um, might know that, okay, he's, I think his birthday, his 18th birthday is coming up. So that's why they're... Yeah, it's going to be 18. So, so that's mm -hmm. why they're revealing his, his, uh, his identity, his face and everything. Unfortunately, people are overlooking the condition that he's living with, which may have triggered this, which is autism. Mm -hmm. Maybe he did not get the therapy or some people used the fact that he has this spectrum of disability, um, learning disability, to capitalize on that and um, condition his mind with hatred. So maybe all this happened. We don't know the reason why he would do it because people who are not even Muslim snap. Mm -hmm. along the way and kill people sure but unfortunately when people are confused and hatred reigns we will start to look for scapegoats and every time something happens as human beings we don't like to be helpless it's always what is the reason for this oh who did this who can we blame and this boy has given them more than enough reasons and again is the migrant issue oh everyone who is not of us our color will be against us we're going to use that. But then again, just as we did here, protests in Nigeria, shops are looted. The shops they are looting and are, 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 are their own Fel people. Felicity. And Nigerians is also owned by them. So that is why um, the prime minister has said that thuggery will not hijack our grief. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough that this has happened. Why are we going to drag other people into, you know, into this depth of grief beyond what everybody is already suffering so my heart goes out to the family because mm -hmm. i'm saying these children are babies when you even say you're like these are babies mm -hmm. these are you imagine the thoughts going through their head and the heroes who fought to save the rest because the dance studio i think there were about nine or ten of the children in there and their teachers and some passerbys fought to protect those children so then uk has issues of control where gun violence is they say, oh, we don't carry guns anyhow, but you have, yeah, you have yeah, knives, Daga. you know. So uh, hatred, the players, you know, in the realm of hatred, again, they are colorless because it is who, uh, who allows themselves to be used will be an instrument of the devil. You know, let us blame our own usual scapegoat here. The devil, yes. <laughs> what can I mean? Nigerian, we always um, we use devil. We use devil. So yeah. So when Victor was, you know, reading or reading the script, I, I think what basically came to mind was, we've a lot is going on right now. There's a lot going on, you know, in the world, not mm -hmm. just you know in our country mm -hmm. or in our, there's a lot going on in the world, and we 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 seem to have forgotten that. There's something that bound that binds us together as humans, as you know, as humans. Basically, uh, we have common interests, common values, common goals, and it seems that at this point in, in time in the world, we are letting so many things, you know, get get into it. Just like the generalization, right? Um, Sorry, uh, let me add to you. The okay. anti-migrant protesters mm -hmm. also have a common goal. I hope you know. <laughs> Uh -huh. So just no. go on with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. So I think um, I'm just going to recondemn or caution that it's, I think it's very, very uncalled for or improper, right, to generalize. For example, just like Elijah said, you do not generalize an act of an individual or an individual's mm -hmm. act. So you, you don't say, okay, because I am Christian, you know, Inikbi did this, and it means that all Inikbis or all Igalas or all Nigerians are like this so yeah basically. and so you know uh victor I, I let me just portray this if you go to different sectors from the health sector to the tech sector to education sector to whatever sector in the uk you've had different migrants contributing positively to the and progress. enormously to the progress of this sector so please they should become let's focus on the issues deal with criminal elements if you need to deal with them mm -hmm. deal with people that are mentally unstable if you need to you have to deal with them not need to you have to they have to really deal with them but 
don't associate them to their kind. And by the way, what kind of persons are we? We are all humankind. Yeah. And that is mm -hmm. more important than uh, anything. And the Nigerian yes, government yes. is also, you know, every small they'll say, ah, they are issuing this thing for people to be careful. And the Nigerian government where you, is also telling Nigeria, please be careful, there's rights in the UK. I'm sure the minister, his house was sweet where he said, it was ah, just diplomatic let me warn Nigerians <laughs> too. Because I, it's, I not hard hard for white people. Ah, it's not hard for white people to say, mm, be careful, Let, let's just call it, I call that diplomatic mm. shenanigans. Yeah. No, but, no, actually, Nigeria what we have is issues shining. in Nigeria, mm. Mm. the US, the UK, Western world, they actually give out tribal advice mm -hmm. to the citizens. Don't Precisely. Yeah, so, but so now it's just, we are warning, we are warning you people. Be careful. <laughs> we are warning you people. <laughs> Nigeria is protecting your interests. So be very careful. Mm, we are oh also but I'm sure protesting our A lot of Nigerians will jackpot this week to the UK, regardless. <laughs> yeah, but, but they should be careful on the places they are going to go. Yeah. Let me speak like uh, I'm from the ministry. Should be okay. careful the areas you are going to go watch out and don't be in clustered areas and stuff like that okay. and if you have issues please report to the nigerian embassy, embassy, embassy. or the nigerian high commission because okay nigeria just, has just to state it, nigeria is a great nation nigeria mm. is a great country yes. and the united kingdom too is a great place to be too so we are don't be <laughs> diplomatic <Gary. I'm> just... <laughs> Well, I think if, if there's one thing that you know that is very important in all of this is um Picking back on you know some of the interesting issues we've touched on today, mm -hmm. we need to agree, right? Like Chinidi said, right? You know, uh, most of these problems are colorless, mm -hmm. right? So when you come together and agree, what are the values that advance us as a people? Mm -hmm. And this also just, I mean, going out, it's no longer so safe. But this just reveals um, some of the dark intents, right, of you know, racism and all of those things, right? And it's very important for us to, you know, just agree. First, we are first humans. You know, when you were born, you were born a human being. You were not born an animal or a dog or a chair, right? You were born a human being. And then you were born a human being. You were born into a family. And then from a family, we were born in a country, in a community. But the fundamental is that you were born a human being. And I mean, just to digress a bit, even with the um, um, gender pronouns, oh, I'm no longer he, I am now she, but we all agree that we're human beings. I think there is no disagreement that we're human beings. Nobody comes to say, you know what? I think I'm a dog or I think I'm a cat, right? Mm. So we are all human beings and we must agree what are the fundamental values that advance us as a people, as a nation, you know, and, you know, as a community. And this is very, very important. And so on that note, I would just say that if you are here, you know, in England or anywhere in the UK, Scotland, Wales or wherever, we must start to educate each other. Whether you have friends who are British or, you know, you stay in an area where you have other immigrants you must start to educate each other we must start to you know um begin to ask questions around what are the common values that advance us as a people because all of these things once we don't curtail it once we don't you know talk about it then we begin to spread it we begin to you know um advance it and we don't want that right so we must start educating we must start re-engineering our mindset and start to agree together what values mm -hmm. right advance us as a nation all right so we're going back to lagos studio and we have victoria inipi um please do stay with us